today I will show you another way of making a smooth pixel in After Effects that looks just like this. So if your edits still flop, make sure to not miss out and check out this fixer that I make in this video so your edits can blow up. To start, I just searched out two clips of Obama right here, just to show you guys. So to start, make sure that your composition frame rate is at 60 FPS. This is going to make your edits way smoother. Once you check that, make sure to select both clips and turn on motion, blur and frame blending. Now we can go ahead and pre-compose our clips, which is pretty important when applying Twixter. So we're just going to select the clip, press Ctrl, Shift and C on our keyboard, select the bottom option and also turn on this check mark. Press OK and do that for the other clip as well. Once that's done, we're ready to add the Twixter effect to our clip. So we're going to go ahead in our effects and presets panel and search for Twixter. Go all the way down and add it to your clip. In my case, I'm going to use a normal Twixter. Now, very important, before we start, we're going to have to find out what frame rate our clip is in so we can put it into our Twixter effect settings. So we're just going to open our project and see right here under frame rate, my clip has 60 FPS. So I'm going to go ahead and change it from 29 to 60. Now, next, we're going to just change the settings a bit. So put this like that. Put the motion sensitivity up to 100 and put this setting like that. Now we're going to go ahead to the first frame of our clip and set a keyframe for the speed at 100. The speed basically just defines in how much percentage your clip is playing, meaning 100% will be normal speed. Therefore, 200% would be double the speed and so on. So now press U on your keyboard to bring up the keyframes. And I'm just going to zoom in a bit so you can see it more clear. And I'm going to go ahead one frame and set the value from 100 up to 220. Now go to approximately the middle of your clip and set a value from 220 down to 50. Make sure that the keyframe is right there and now go ahead to the end again and put the value back up to 200. So now what we're going to do is we're going to easy ease the keyframes to make it look way smoother. To do that, just select all the keyframes at once, right click on them, select keyframes assistant and hit easy ease. Now we can open the graph editor and now just copy my graphs. Now, once you've copied my graph, you can go ahead and close the graph editor again. And now I'm also going to apply the Twixter to the next clip. Now here, if you have multiple clips, it's very important to copy the keyframes properly. And I'm going to show you how you can do it. Select all the keyframes and click on the effect on the left. Now press Ctrl and C, head to the beginning of your next clip, click on the clip and press Ctrl and V. Now, as you can see, the screen turns black and we're just going to change the color source to our actual clip. As you can see, it's currently selected the second clip, but I'm going to change it to the first clip because we now have another clip. So I'm going to put it to one and as you can see we can now see our clip again press u on our keyboard and now adjust the keyframes because as you can see our keyframes are longer than the actual clip so we're going to select all of them and while pressing alt on our keyboard we're going to drag them till they fit the clip now the last and most important step for every edit is to add a good coloring as you can see a good coloring can improve your quality from looking like 1080p to 4k full hd and if you want to get my exact colorings that i use to make my edits stand out from the rest and blow up on tiktok make sure to check the first link in the description because i just today dropped a huge pack with all my color corrections available in it. There's currently still a sale on it, so you can get 50% off if you buy now. Make sure to not miss out on the opportunity and get yours now. Also, feel free to subscribe, like, and leave a comment if you liked the video. Make sure to check out my Discord because I made a huge editing Discord where you can ask me anything you want. I will gladly answer your questions regarding After Effects. Thank you for watching and see you next time.